Welcome to the interrogation room where we extract information from developers in a, in a humane fashion. Welcome, gentlemen. G'day. Hi. So how are you doing? I'm, I'm guessing wonderful? No. No, uh, Larrikin has been crying all morning. Okay, yeah. so what's up, Larrikin? Well, I, I moved away from the, the hellish heat of Australia to Iceland to get myself some of that no, white Christmas goodness. Okay. And I'm sorry, Iceland has disappointed me. Like last last Christmas was wonderful. It was snowing and there were rainbow, not rainbows, butterfly. Okay, there weren't butterflies. It was snowing and it it's not. It's wet and cold and dark. It's like, uh, it's a bit dystopian, isn't it? it? It's, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's one kind of one might even call it a Blade Runner Christmas. Yeah. yeah. That, that would be a good way to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be an excellent way. Uh, but we're trying to make up for it with, uh, with some decorations and, uh, so uh, well, ho hopefully you'll be you'll be all right. Thanks, man. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, you guys, you guys come from a uh, development team called Team Phenomenon, and you do what? Brand new AI and and uh, better tools to be create better content. Yeah, that sounds like fun. It is. It's super it's like, fun. Yeah. So you uh, you've been busy, and players have uh, already been been getting their hands on some of your uh, work. Um, so before we get into um before we get into talking about npc mining fleets i wanted to ask you about um the new defender missile system how how has that been going rolling that out look it, it's it's gone really well um it it hit tq uh, a couple of days ago and uh, so far it's it's looking pretty good uh, i mean there's been some 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 controversy over the name yeah of it, uh, and I can't actually comment on it, but I believe that CCB Logic Bro will be le uh, be releasing a formal statement, uh, probably sometime on this show uh, about the, the name of the Defender Missile System. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm I apologize. I'm just not authorized to comment on it. Yeah, yeah. But the uh, the Defender missiles. Uh, I mean, they've been in. Uh well, they've been kind of neglected for a long time. I mean, they used to be kind of a cool idea way back in the day, and then it hasn't been touched. And now. We have defender missiles. We do, and now they now you can launch them, and they will go and blow up a, a random bomb in yeah. your in your in sort of in their launch range. So uh, they can also be fit to uh, destroyers, and we're expecting to see them in like null set combat when there's some risk of bombs. You can bring along a bunch of friends in destroyers, and they can try and guard you from the the hideous threat of the hideous bomber threat. So okay, okay, yeah. So uh, it sounds like a sounds like a reasonable thing to do to uh, counter those pesky bombs a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, the the big feature you guys have been uh, working on now lately is the are the NPC mining fleets uh, for people who have been maybe hiding in stations since they were unleashed. Uh, what exactly are the new NPC mining fleets? Uh, so the new NPC mining fleets are exactly what they sound like. There's NPC miners. They belong to a variety of different high set corporations and the pirate corporations. And you'll see them in the belts, in the regular asteroid belts uh, where you yourselves may be mining. Mm. And they, they act very similar to players. They, they mine asteroids. They deplete asteroids. Uh, haulers will come in and, and take away the ore. Uh, the haulers are rumored to carry uh, hold strong boxes, which have some valuable skins and blueprints in them as well. Uh, and if anyone were foolish enough to attack some of these NPC miners, uh, their response fleet comes in and, and tries to rescue them. So They're pretty tough. They're pretty tough. Uh, I've heard some uh, terrifying stories of, of people who have lost some cool shit to this. To these things, yeah, uh, we've seen some some really interesting uh, kill mails lately, and uh, it's it's really great. And yeah, I mean, it's it's one of the things that you know we're constantly working on balancing it, balancing them and, and the response forces, and yeah. figuring out like good ways to make a good and fun fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, we've been we've been jumping and fighting them as well, and have died them a couple of times <laughs> as well. Like, <laughs> so, but yeah, look, we we actually just made a so with this release with the release in December, we we made a, a couple of changes to them to start yeah. with. Uh, we made their uh, response forces a, a little bit more reflective of the space you're in. So. If you're in high sec, you're more, a mo lot more likely to get frigates come than battleships. Okay, okay. Uh, there's still a chance though, so I'd be wary if you're attacking them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in uh, low sec and then null sec, you're much more likely to get cruisers and battleships, respectively. Okay, okay. So yeah. we also did some tweaking to the to the bounties of them, so you know they're kind of more 
juicy. Much, yes. much more juicy, especially okay. in, in null sec and yeah. low sec. Yeah. More rewards for all that risk, which is taking down some expensive ships, uh, as yeah. we've seen. <laughs> uh, Four billion is rattlesnakes and, and such that we've heard about. Within the first 24 hours, even. Yeah. It's uh, pretty scary. So, uh, but we've been we've been experimenting like in the past with with making NPCs a little more interesting to tackle. Like, I mean, burn missions. Uh, we've done uh, we've done the new NPE, and now now this. Like, what uh, what is it like? What's it like making these things? Like, what's the difference between like how how do you approach the problem differently than when you just make these mobs of MP NPCs that are you know I, I wouldn't say dumb, but maybe. More traditional, and they more rely on like numbers than than smarts. Maybe. Well, how do you go about making them interesting? So, so we hit it from two different angles. To start with, the the stats of the NPCs are actually um, we we fire up like Pyfer, uh, Python fitting assistant. And actually, okay. what, very quickly, I want to give a shout out to the Pyfer devs. I asked for a little feature to make my life easier to, to author these NPCs, and they put it into into Pyfer for me. So thank you very much, guys. Great. Um, That's awesome. But yeah, so we, we fire it up. We we fit them with player modules and player skills, and that's that's how we get the stats for them. Uh -huh. So they they reflect what you guys fly, right? Uh, and then on, we hit it on the other side is we have um, some awesome AI tech that we started using with the drifters and we've expanded that and we've actually got them working together as a single fleet. So they react to threats. They, uh, they even like calculate where the best place to kind of position their fleet is and ensure that the Logia are, uh, uh, shielded behind their main DPS fleet while mm. uh, the E-War fleet E-War guys will even sit further out, like they don't need to come in close. So mm. they actually work together kind of as a fleet. And the combination of those two factors really makes them feel uh, much, much, well, they are just much, much more challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they, um, would, you, would, you have any, would you have any recommendations for new players that, you know, haven't tried this or, you know, players that, that haven't tried this in general want to go and try it out without maybe losing their best ship? Any any good advice? Well, yeah, definitely. First one is don't bring a ship you're not prepared to lose, but that's that's <laughs> advice for EVE Online. Yeah. Don't undock in a ship you're not prepared to lose. I would bring friends as well. Uh, and if you want to want to have a little bit of an easier time of it, I would go after some of the, the high sec guys. You're much more likely to get a frigate spawn. Yeah. Um, and uh, you should you should totally bring some logistics with you as well. Like, you're going to want that. Even the frigates are a bit of a challenge. I mean, if you bring some cruisers with a logi or two, you, you should be fine. But uh, if you go into null sec or if you get a get a battleship spawn, you should probably just warp out. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good advice. <laughs> um, and the... Uh, do you do you kind of think you've hit the kind of right spot in terms of difficulty now, or like are you going to be making a lot of tweaks to them in the future? I think I think we're players? definitely. Um, I mean, we're constantly looking at this and evaluating, um, you know, the stuff that we're doing. And I think you know there are some really interesting things on the horizon that we're looking at and mm -hmm. kind of testing out on our secret little in our secret little sandboxes. Um, so we're getting to a really interesting place but still some interesting tweaks some interesting new yeah. behaviors some mm -hmm. exciting stuff so in fact one of the things that we released in december is if you have positive standings towards the npcs uh and your damage in the same belt as the combat npcs they will remote rep you so yeah. they will actually yeah. sort of help you fight if if you're friends with them obviously <laughs> yeah. if you start shooting them they will stop remote repping yeah. you but yeah. but yeah yeah, it's really interesting. Adds a lot of dynamics and and kind of life to the to yeah, the yeah. to space. And uh, yeah, have a have an NPC population out there uh, making decisions yeah. based on what you do. Um, so the future of NPCs, uh, smart, dangerous, interesting NPCs in Eve. Um, wow. So exciting! <laughs> the future, man. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been seeing like we because we've been we've been doing these experiments with different feature sets involving NPCs now. And, and uh, uh, the obvious question that a lot of people have been asking, like, uh, do we plan to replace all NPC interactions, old NPC interactions, m missions and stuff with these new, smarter... Uh, I mean, in an ideal world, definitely. But I yeah. mean, it's going to take time and it's going to, you know, it's not like flicking a switch. Yeah. But, you know, everything that we do, we try to do it in, in very scalable fashion. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we managed to, what was it, nine or ten different corporations that yeah. we actually released. 12, uh, 12 plus the pirates. So. Yeah, 12 plus the pirates, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, 
So we try to do everything in a very kind of scalable fashion. And, and so it's a very new approach to how we work. Yeah. Um, so, but slowly, maybe yeah, 2017, we, 2018, we'll start to kind of see more old NPCs swap out. Or? Yeah. We, we have some plans in this area. Uh, we have a lot of PVE content in our game. So yeah. going back and, and like just, just replacing the old NPCs with these new NPCs would be, an enormous task, which would take us a long time to yeah, go Yeah, you got to rework some things along the way. and Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, look, it, it's not going to happen quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Over time, I'm, I'm sure yeah. it will. But mm -hmm. we have a, a CSM summit in like That's a true. month, That's month true. and a half, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, we're going to be chatting with the CSM about uh, the new NPCs and some of the amazing plans that we have with them. If you guys have ideas, we would love to hear them, right? So go talk to your CSM, give them all of the good ideas. I believe uh, Jintan, or, or I can't remember exactly which CSM, is going to run a bit of a, a PVE uh, like roundtable mm -hmm. sort of session, like town hall session to get some ideas about that. would love to hear that. Uh, yeah. would love to have them tell us about all of your awesome ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be really good to have them over, uh, coming at a really good time to yeah. uh, talk about a lot of things moving forward. So we're in a good spot to have them affect our, our work. Absolutely. Uh, but that's it for us for now, I think. Thank you guys for coming on. This has been, uh, it's been really exciting to see the uh, fruits of your labor on TQ and uh, we look forward to the future. Expect awesome. more soon. Yeah. We'll be back after this.